So what's happening in these higher states of consciousness, in these awakening experiences, you're getting a transformation, an intervention in systematic error. You're seeing through illusion precisely because of the powerful decentering that they are affording for you. Now that, of course, can be a powerfully traumatic experience. It can be a terrifying experience. Pursuing this in an autodidactic fashion, like all autodidactic, being a completely self-taught, right, is very, very dangerous. Autodidacts tend to get into echo chambers, vicious circles of their own egocentric entombment and entrapment. The Buddha gives a wonderful parable about this. He says, this is how you catch a monkey. You put some pitch on a piece of wood and it looks like something very shiny and tasty. It's, it's salient, it's attractive. And so the monkey grabs it with its hand and it gets stuck. And then it uses its other hand to try and free itself and it gets stuck. So it uses its right foot and then its left foot and then it puts its head and its mouth on and then it's completely trapped and then the hunter comes and kills it. Okay. But decentering can alleviate that. But if you are still pursuing this as an isolated individual, as an autodidact, then think about how ill-prepared, unskilled, untutored, and egocentrically you are trying to confront this radical transformation. That is why I think it is a very poor idea for people to take psychedelics without having them placed within a wisdom tradition in which they have a committed community that can give outside, decentering, and wise advice for how to process and handle these transformations. But once again, I point to you to an aspect of the meaning crisis. We have institutions of information, we have institutions of knowledge, we have traditions, and we have respected experts who give us guidance. We do not have this for wisdom. Now what is amazing, of course, is that some individuals like Siddhartha are able to do it as individuals. I want to point out two things about that. They deserve our admiration for successfully doing it as individuals, even though the Buddha had training from other people all along the way. But we should not take from that some kind of promotion of our North American individualism. Because the Buddha made it very clear that the Sangha, the community, was necessary for the cultivation of these transformative states. <laughs>